and welcome to CNCF Minutes. In today's video, we'll be learning about Kiverno. So Kiverno is Kubernetes native policy management and it is a CNCF sandbox project. Now let's understand what Kiverno is. It is a policy engine designed for Kubernetes. So it's very Kubernetes native. It understands the Kubernetes object. You can use the kubectl git customized to manage the policies and uh, there is no new language uh, required to write the policy. So it's, it's basically a declarative way in which you can write the policy and you do not need to learn any new language for that. So policies can validate, mutate and generate create resources as well. Uh, so it can uh, validate a resource. You can add labels to that resource. Even you can generate a completely new resource. Configuration synchronization across namespaces and policies can be tested using the Kiverno CLI. Now, why, why Kiverno? Just because we need the policies and we need the policies in a very easy way. You can specify the policies in a declarative manner. Kubernetes resources support, so it supports all the resources. Easy to view and process the policy results. And again, validate, mutate, and generate configurations. Let's see uh, how it actually works. Now, Kubernetes can be installed using kubectl or Helm onto the cluster, and it runs as a dynamic admission controller. It receives all the HTTP callbacks from the API server and then applies the matching policies. So once the objects are selected, then it, they are validated, muted, or they generate the resource. And you can see them as policy reports, Kubernetes events. And this is how a typical policy looks like. So uh, in a policy, you will be having a rule. So first, it will match and exclude. So it will match the resources to which the policies will be applied or exclude the resources using all the namespace, selectors, user groups and once the resources are selected you can mutate validate and generate based on the policy that you have written now let's see a demo policy so this is a cluster policy uh, of required labels and this is a rule in the rule we first match the resources which is pods in this case and then uh, the validate so validate the pattern uh, there is a particular label should be there on the pod and when i try to create a pod it just simply says that required label is missing so that's how simple it is to create the policy and apply it to Kubernetes. So that's on a high level about Kiverno. And if you want to learn more, uh, put them in the comment box. And you can also check out the documentation uh, on writing policies using the CLI, etc. Uh, so like, subscribe, and share the video. And thank you for watching.